Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious Christmas cookies. These cookies are easy to make, the ingredients are very simple, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Are you ready? Let's get started. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to cream our butter, and I'm going to be using some salted butter, okay? Now also, this is part of my series of 12 Days of Cookies and Holiday Treats. And so if you have not had a chance to see those other vlogs, I invite you to watch those delicious vlogs with all those yummy holiday cookies and holiday treats. So to our mixing bowl, we put two sticks, which is one cup of salted butter. And we're using salted butter because this recipe actually doesn't call for any additional salt. So I always like to use salted butter with that case, okay? Now in there, we also put our powdered sugar and that was one cup of powdered sugar. And what we're doing is we're mixing together that butter and that powdered sugar. You wanna really get those two incorporated. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add one large egg, and my egg was at room temperature, and so we're adding one large egg. Now, after I uh, add the addition of the egg, I like to use my spatula to just kinda go around that bottom of the bowl. Now, next, we're gonna add some almond extract. Now, almond extract and vanilla extract are two main staples that I always have in my pantry because I love to do a lot of baking and baking from scratch, and I love to use either almond extract or vanilla extract. This recipe actually calls for both. And so that was one and a half teaspoons of almond extract. Now vanilla extract, we're going to use one teaspoon of that vanilla extract. Those two extracts together married to make such a tasty, unique tasting cookie. And this is so good. And it just reminds you so much of those wonderful cookies that you can go and get in the store where you can make them homemade from scratch yourself. And this is the recipe for that. Now also, in the description box below, I'm going to have a list of all the ingredients you need to make these delicious, yummy, simple Christmas cookies. Now next what we add to our mixing bowl is going to be our flour and I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour and we're going to put in two and a half cups of the unbleached all-purpose flour. And just to note, my um, cup measure was one and a half cups, the first one, and then my second measuring cup was one cup. So that's where you get your two and a half cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. Now once it's in there and your dough is looking like this, it's come together nicely, you don't have a lot of uh, flour left in your bowl, what I like to do is I stop mixing at that point and then I just use my spatula. I always like to use my spatula to finish that last like five or ten percent of mixing your dough. And so just mix everything together because you want to gather your dough in a nice little ball like that. And we're going to refrigerate our dough. And you want to refrigerate your dough for a minimum of one hour. I like to uh, refrigerate it for a couple of hours or sometimes I'll even refrigerate it overnight. Okay. And so we're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour and then we're going to make our delicious cookies. Okay, so now it's time for us to roll out our cookies. Our dough is nice and chilled, and so this is going to make it so much easier. And you always want to chill your dough because it's going to keep your cookies from spreading too much, okay? And so this is what our dough looks like. It's going to be nice and firm. And I'm using my, um, my cookie, my dough um, scooper, and so we're going to be using our dough scooper for our dough, and we're going to be making balls. Now, you can make them as big or as small as you like. It's your choice. And the um, dough scooper that I'm using is about the, half the size, a little bit bigger than half the size of, say, an egg, like a large egg. And you can even make them smaller than that. And so what I do is I just take the dough and I roll it in the sprinkles. And I love to use a different variety of sprinkles. And so some I will roll in sprinkles and some I will leave just plain. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the plain ones, okay? And so this is a great time if you have that variety of holiday. Christmas sprinkles that you have in like little canister. This is a great time to just make different variations of the cookie just by the decorations. And so that's always a lot of fun. And so we're going to do this. Now, while we're doing this and we're decorating our cookies, I have my oven and it's preheating on 350 degrees. 
Now from this recipe dough, you'll be able to get anywhere from two and a half up to three dozen to three and a half dozen of cookies. So anywhere between two and three dozen of cookies, depending on the size that you wanna make your Christmas um, cookies. So we have our first batch in the oven. This is our second batch here. And as you saw, I left some of them plain. So now our cookies have baked up and they baked for 20 minutes on that 350 degrees. Now the taller your cookie, the longer that you're gonna need it to bake, okay? Cause you wanna make sure that your cookie bakes through and through and it's gonna be a beautiful golden brown on the bottom. So this is also what one of the sprinkle cookies that we did, this is how it came out. And these cookies are so great. If you are gonna do a cookie exchange with family or friends or neighbors, this is a great cookie to make for that. And now I'm gonna show you what I do with the plain cookies. Now you can leave them just plain, but this is a way to really just jazz up that cookie and make it extra special. So I put some vanilla flavored frosting in a bowl and that was just a can of, of frosting that you get from the store. I microwaved it in my bowl for 10 seconds just to make it nice, get it nice and loose. And then we're going to take the plain cookies and see how they're nice and golden brown on the bottom. We're gonna take our plain cookies and you just want to dip. We're going to dip and roll. So you wanna dip your cookie, roll it all around from side to side just like that. Just dip it and roll it like that. And then we can leave it plain just like that and just swirl it. When you bring up it from dipping it, just kind of swirl it around. But then I take some of my sprinkles and I sprinkle them on top. And this makes such an extra special cookie. If you are doing a cookie exchange or you're gonna have a nice Christmas um, event with some people, this is a great cookie to take because you can just decorate it and just really jazz it up any kind of way you like. And again, you just take your cookie and you roll it around just like that. And when it comes up, I just rotate it like that. And then I just put whatever color sprinkles that I want to put on there and whatever little decorations. And so it's just really easy to do. And this is also a great thing to have the little ones do, to have the kids do, and they can decorate their cookies and they are just extra special like that. Well, let's go on and finish decorating our cookies and then we're gonna give them a try. Well, these are our finished cookies. Let's go on and see how they taste. Mmm, oh my gosh, these are so good. They're so yummy, so easy to eat. Do you see how these cookies came out? They are just so perfect. They're nice golden brown on the bottom, delicious texture in the inside. Wow. Well, I hope you give this recipe a try. And this is part of the 12 Days of Cookies and Holiday Treats. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video and appreciate the content, don't forget to show it some love and give it a thumbs up and click share and share this video with a friend or family. Well, that is it for me today, guys. And remember, it is always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.